Here's the southern extent of the wall. As you can see, we have a complete failure here. The wall has been breached. And thankfully, the neighboring property has a return wall. Otherwise, their property would be compromised as well. The majority of the, the wall panels have been attacked by boars as well, along with the king piles, causing substantial structural loss of every single member. You can see the whale beam in here is actually missing. And this corner piling is about as bad as it gets. The cap, or what's left of the cap, is in very poor shape as well. The cap is leaning in certain sections. Here on the southern end we have another massive failure causing severe subsidence of the soil behind the wall with exposed tie backs and over in the distance you can see right here the only thing moderately holding up land behind this particular area is a silt fence and what's left of the whale beam. The silt fence looks like a woven, a strong woven silt fence, I'm sorry, filter fabric, my apologies, and with its high tensile strength that's likely what is still holding it together. Here you have another tie back. There is a large head wall with dual HDPE drainage pipes. Um, here's the pipes are probably 24 inch. There is sloughing of the soil behind this section as well. No surprise, this is poured concrete compared to the timber. Uh, this, this section is holding up relatively well. 